Now, if you like me, you've been shopping on Shop Miss A for a very, very long time. I mean, I have been purchasing from them for several years. They are known as kind of like the $1 store um, for makeup items, but it's not just makeup. They have fashion jewelry. They even now have skincare. They have a whole set of tools and organization things and a whole lot of stuff. I mean, if you go on Shop Miss A and you sit down, you think, okay, great. A lot of things are just like a dollar and you keep adding, adding, adding to cart. Like you realize that you would love a lot of things on Shop Miss A. It could be very very addicting especially now because i know that if everybody budgets are tight and we are watching how we are spending but some of us still love our makeup we still love skincare we still love you know our beauty devices and tools and so on and we want to be able to probably get some things that might be on trend but do so very affordably for me shop miss is the place to go for that but there have been things that have been hugely raved about i reviewed a couple of them before for example the beauty sponges that I still use um, their lash glue some of their brushes a lot of things that they have put out are not only just affordable but very high quality and could literally stand neck and neck with some high-end things so I hope that you guys go get a glass or something to drink maybe a snack because I have a lot of these things on my face today <laughs> Could you believe it? I am actually wearing a lot of these things and it was the first time that I tried them <laughs> getting ready for this video today. So let's just get right into it. Where do we start? <laughs> okay, let me see if I can kind of categorize these items. So just thinking about how you would do makeup and so on. Let's start with the primers. So I picked up these two primers. The packaging already looks jacked up because I did open them and I did try most of what I'm showing you today. So this one is the AOA Perfect Filter Face primer and it dispenses as like a very light creamy kind of primer and i actually tried this today i put it on on my face um before i did my foundation and they say that this minimizes pores and it leaves a smooth surface and it's absolutely true you could use this on most skin types and i would probably agree but i will say that if you're looking for something to minimize pores but you want to have a little bit more of a natural dewy look i would recommend this one because that's the look that i got on my skin once i applied this it has a very light um i don't know how to describe it is it a floral scent but it's not bothersome at all i actually like it. it's very very pleasant but the other one and i picked up two primers and i was like both of them says minimize pores why did i pick up two when i got it and then once <laughs> one second and we're back to our regularly scheduled program <laughs> when i got my package i was like why did i pick up two primers both of them minimize pores but this one is the aoa studio blur perfection face primer it's this little thing and it says it's transparent oh lord i'm going to tell you all right now if you're going to be making a list of things to purchase definitely want to pick this one up it is definitely like a very clear type of gel but this one actually mattifies the skin not in a dry way but it also blurs the skin. And after I had applied this one and I realized that one is not so much the look that I'm going for with the foundation that I'm wearing, I actually took this with my fingers and I dabbed it in my T-zone and the areas where I usually get oily. And it worked beautifully. And this one is $1. <laughs> The other one is $1.55. The majority of things on Shop Miss A's site are $1, but they do have certain things that fall under the Pawpaw charity because as most of you will know, Shop Miss A is also cruelty-free and they actually do give proceeds to animals in need. So if that's a cause that is dear to your heart, you definitely want to check out the Pawpaw charity items because they have a ton of them on the site. But yeah, if you're normal to dry skin, get this one. It feels really nice on the skin. If you like me, combination oily. Oh my God, I actually love this thing. This is just very, very unique to me, and I really, really like it. I'm sure I'll be using that a lot. So, moving right along, they have the oil control set and spirit is the other thing that I picked up. And this, they say, is a non-drying matte for a long-lasting finish. It has a light rose scent. And today, again, is the first time I tried it, so I can't tell you how long my makeup is going to last. But you see the mist? Watch this. <sighs> In case you missed it, it is a beautiful, beautiful mist. I love when we get sprayers on certain sprays that will mist your face really, really nice. It has a lovely, to me, it's like a florally rose scent and I do like it very much it's not overpowering anything and it felt nice on my skin um it set my makeup perfectly fine if you guys want i could definitely give you a review on how this works in terms of oil control because that's what it's supposed to be for but yeah um very very interesting 
So next we have the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer and I chose the shade Nude and if you look at this in the tube you could already see why I did not use this today because the shade is way too light for me. However, although it's light I did try it on just at home just to see you know how it felt and so on because they say that this is full coverage and very creamy and hydrating and it is absolutely so if I could go back on the site and find a shade that's going to work for me I'll definitely pick it up but because this is a nude shade I could actually use this as an eyeshadow base so I'll definitely use it I'll get use out of it for that and then I actually picked up an eyeshadow base and I, I did use that to apply my eyeshadow today this is what it looks like they call this the AOA Studio Soft Base Eye Primer and this is the shade Nude and they say this will give you oil control on your lids and if you're like me and your lids get oily and then of course my, my lids naturally have wrinkles so my eyeshadow is more prone to creasing very very quickly. I need an eyeshadow primer and this one is in the shade called Nude. Um, and at the back of it, it says reduces discoloration, helps control oil, locks in eyeshadow, crease-free, colorage look. And I did use it today um, to do my eye look. And I think it's actually holding the crease in from my eyeshadows really, really well. So I'm impressed by this, but this again is the first time I'm using that. So next, let's go to one of my favorite parts of makeup highlight <laughs> so i picked up two highlighters this one is the aoa glow baby liquid highlighter it's this little mini it's so so cute but i can actually appreciate this packaging for a liquid highlighter because tell me how many times you purchase a liquid highlighter in a whole tube and you could probably go through your whole lifetime and you will have to throw it away and you will never finish it i love this because this actually looks usable and they say that this is silky buildable and has a long lasting glue now i haven't tried it to tell you how long lasting it is i did do a swatch i found that there were quite a few glitter specks in this but that gives me an idea because i could actually mix this into some lotion or i could apply it in this area for example if i'm wearing a, maybe something that has a scoop neck and i want to have like a little bit of glue on my collarbone and so on i could use it there or on my arms you all know that we are looking forward to being able to go to the beach and so on so this might be one of those things that i could use for that but the highlight that i am wearing today sis is aoa shum shop miss a <laughs> This is their Halo Highlighter in the shade Love Lust. Just look at how gorgeous that is. Oh my God. It has this marbling in there. I don't know if you could see it. And then when you put it on the skin, like I swatched this and the swatching did not do it justice. So on my skin, I don't know if you could tell. I, I don't know if you could tell on my skin. But when you move like in real, in person, there is a shift from the pink to the gold. I absolutely love it. I will be reaching for this. And I do have a little demo video. I might include a clip of when I applied it and my reaction. Because again, it was the first time I used it today. Then we have blushes. So I have the AOA Lumi Radiant Blush. And this is the shade Sin. And let me show you guys this. So... I haven't tried a radiant blush before like this but this to me when I swatched it looked like it's going to be a highlighter and I think like on deeper skin tones it is going to be a gorgeous I don't know if you guys could see that there but I think on deeper skin tones this is going to be a gorgeous highlight I could use this I could still get away with it actually as a highlight or as a blush topper but because I'm oily skin I don't want too much radiance and this packs a punch like a highlighter more than just the concept of a radiant blush that i would have had in mind so i could use that there i could also use this as an eyeshadow but my god they feel so silky smooth and creamy and the blending out of these things you would not believe that it is so so affordable like just look at how they reflect on my skin right here look at that look at that that is like just bronzy coppery goodness absolutely gorgeous and I shocked myself because I picked up a cream blush and this is the Hush Cream Share Blushes. So this is the shade Cozy and guys, that is the blush that I'm wearing today. I was so stunned. So I literally, I applied it with my fingers and I applied it on top of my foundation that was already set with powder. And you know, sometimes if you're going to apply a cream product on top powder, you might have shifting and moving and that kind of thing. So I was a little bit concerned, especially because I'm about, I'm doing this look to come and film. I don't want my makeup to be, you know, messed up and all of that. So I used my finger and I tapped it onto my skin like that. And look at how gorgeous 
that she is out like wow i absolutely love it absolutely love it and i think it looks really complimentary on my skin tone yeah this one was impressive so i hope you guys are taking some notes in terms of the items that i highly recommend definitely that you will pick up then i also picked up something that i think is new on their website and this is the aoa studio butter cream gel liner and shadows so these could be used like the name says as a gel liner with a brush or you could use them as an eyeshadow base so i don't know if you could kind of see what i did on the cut crease there so i just dipped into this this is not like an eyeshadow technique that i do at all <laughs> very often so again i was like really really experimenting and for somebody who is a real newbie at this i think it looks pretty good i mean it's not perfect because i could see all the errors and so on but this was so easy to work with and i will use it like that i will also like to try it as an eyeshadow base because i'm curious to see if it might crease given it's a gel and then i use this as my liner so this is the shade licorice and it's a black and i use this as my liner today but why i really wanted to get this is because i want to use this for some smoky eyeshadow looks because you could also use it as an eyeshadow base um it performed well as a liner i liked the consistency of it i was able to move my brush the way i wanted to move it it wasn't too creamy that was causing my brush to slip and slide and i was able to do my liner the way i felt comfortable and so that i had control and i really really like that about the product they have a ton of colors in those as well if you want to probably try the colored liner trend and instead of spending like a ton of money on some higher end ones you can probably definitely check out those because the formula is pretty nice so also on the whole eyeliner topic i picked up two like more regular eyeliners so this one is their pencil liner but this is called their gel eyeliner pencil and this is in black and just look at this pigmentation look at that pigmentation <laughs> this is super super creamy again this is something that i'll use the tight line with i could also use this on my waterline i can't remember if they said that this was waterproof but they do have a ton of colors and i was really really impressed with the pigmentation of that like look at that wow and then they also had these pen eyeliners and i picked this up because like i was telling you guys like i actually like to use these because if you're like me and you sometimes make mistakes with your lashes in terms of how you apply it and so on i like to go over the lash band with an eyeliner pen to just like neaten it up and make it look like if you know everything was meant to be the way it is <laughs> So I will usually use eyeliner pens for that, but not all eyeliner pens are made equal. Like I have a lot of issues with eyeliner pens in terms of the ease of use, but this one was actually easy and I used it today to do exactly what I mentioned there. So this is what the nib looks like and let me show you the color as well. So again, both of them are actually pretty, pretty black. Um, And I can't remember if both of these are waterproof but i do remember trying to remove a swatch of the pencil and i really really had to work to get it out and that's good because it gives me the idea that it has some real staying power what will a makeup haul be without picking up some brow pencils so i did pick up the brow pencils and i'm just going to be honest these were not my favorite items of everything that i picked up i picked up the sculpting brow pencil which has the ticker nib this is the type of point that i actually like to use on my brows because i have very very sparse hairs on the tail so i like these because it helps me to fill them in quicker but i actually wasn't too fond of how the pigment was depositing on this now it's actually looking a lot nicer now that i am swatching it here but maybe when i was just starting to use it it was like coming out in clumps so I, okay i'm seeing it happening there a little bit no so I was interested to use that but when i saw what was happening i decided not to use that one today simply because of how the color was coming out but then they also have the slim brow pencils and these are the type that i actually don't reach for but i know it's what a lot of people go for um it's the preference of most people so that's why i decided to pick it up to try it so i picked up two colors i picked up ebony and i picked up dark brown dark brown is the one that i actually have on today and i quite like this one surprisingly because this is not the type of brow pencil i will usually go for but i actually do like it and this is what the tip looks like and it was very very easy to work with now one of the things i will say about these brow pencils is that they don't deposit too much pigment when you're going in and i think that's really good for a brow pencil or the concept of a brow pencil because you want to be able to fill in as you need and build in certain areas where you need it so i was happy about that and this shade that's the shade here that's the that's the brow pencil i actually have i did try the ebony um 
yesterday and that shade was a little bit too dark for me i could actually make it work by using on detail and then using the dark brown on the inner part so that i could get use of the pencils so shall we discuss the elephant in the room <laughs> this lip this very bold lip that you may not see me wearing very often but i would love to hear any comments below what you guys think about it it's like a red orange or orangey red kind of shade it's the aoa velvet lips and this is the shade harper so this is what it looks like and it's coming off a lot more orange and camera because of the lights but actually has a lot more red in there i will insert a shot of like the real true color with me wearing it and they say that these are non-sticky absolutely agree a soft finish yes rich creamy velvet color i was so shocked not just with the pigmentation but it has like the kind of doe fat applicator that i really do like and these feel so creamy and moussey they will have transferred they will move around a little bit but it feels so so nice it reminds me of the korean um lip tints that are very like they feel like mousse or like air or like clouds on your lip that's how lightweight this is but this has a ton more pigment this has like the pigment of a liquid lipstick like look at that you know and that's the one that i'm wearing today so i really really like this and i'm interested in getting more colors i picked this one up because apparently this is popular a lot of the shades were sold out when i was getting it and then i also picked up this one this is the aoa wonder matte lipstick and i think this is the one that a lot of people talk about and this is the shade vintage so i haven't tried this formula yet but i know that a lot of people do like it i did do a swatch and i noticed that this one actually does dry down um a lot faster than the other one but it's still comfortable and again full-on pigment but this one has a different type of applicator and that's the shade at the top there that's the shade here vintage right so that is what it looks like i love the pigmentation full-on coverage yes for a very very good price let's talk lashes and glue because lashes is actually one of the things that i pick up a lot on shop miss a in fact alexis is one of my favorite styles because it is so affordable and because i use lashes for filming and that kind of thing you could go through lashes really really quickly and for me personally i am not going to spend a ton of money on lashes uh you could use those same very affordable cheaper lashes and you could make them look fabulous and like i said go check out alexis that is the style that i actually have the six pair card and i have a couple of those in my collection but i decided to try a couple new styles so i am actually wearing the 3d for mink in the style ariel so it would have come in this package so ariel is the style that i'm actually wearing today um then i also picked up also in the 3d for mink i picked up harper as well so that's this style look at that like these are very very fluffy and wispy i love the whole 3d effect you can actually see that in real and then i also picked up the aoa studio the a plus glam 3d and this one is serious glam they say this is a premium for mink lashes and this is the style dallas look at those oh, hoo -hoo. <laughs> you all dare me to wear this like i i love how these look i don't know if i could pull them off but yeah and of course the aoa lash glue is something that a lot of us have used but you know it usually comes in the white tube so they also have it in the black version and i decided i was going to try that because i figured that could kind of be like a liner thing for me because the way i apply my lashes i will actually put my glue onto the lash line and then i will put a little bit of glue on the lash itself and then i will put my lash on and that is the easiest way for me to personally apply lashes so i try to use this and guys if you are not a pro in applying lashes just get the regular one just get it clear I could have easily completely messed up my entire eyeshadow look because the black had gotten to places like it got onto my hands and everything and then I was like okay so I need to come back again so what I'm going to do is I will actually use this to apply onto my lash line because it's going to be like a liner look and then I will probably use the clear one if I want to put a little bit of glue on the actual lash and I think I will avoid that particular issue like have you guys tried this one like the black or a black lash glue I'd love to hear what you think about it and if you're still here we are coming down to the end of this video so I also got some sponges and what is shopping on shop miss a without getting the sponges so again from the aoa line and this is the one that we are accustomed to like a lot of us have the pink wonder blender or the black one um this is the 
slanted this is the one with the slant but they have it in this new color this nude shade so i wanted to pick up one of those because i mean it's just closer to the color of foundation and therefore it doesn't look as crazy you know sometimes that can happen but then they also have the microfiber wonder blender and these have been out for quite a while and the thing about these is that it is said that they would absorb 70 percent less product than the regular beauty sponge and these could also be used wet or dry whereas with these you actually have to soak them like you have to wet them run them under water squeeze out the excess water to really get the best use out of these but this one you could use wet or dry so i haven't tried either of these because i already have an aoe sponge out right now on my desk so i will definitely give this one a try because this is the one that's new to me and i'll let you guys know this one i don't really need to talk about it because you guys would have known like i don't know a couple years ago i have been talking about this this is the aoa 10 piece eyebrow set it comes in pink i have the pink i use them all the time they're in my jar over there but because it is in black and because it is such a good brush set it's such good quality brushes at a very affordable price i wanted to get the black ones so that's why <laughs> that's why i got these i haven't used these yet but i already know that they are good because i already have it in pink aoa makes some very affordable but good quality brushes in fact one of my absolute favorite brushes to use of all time is the f19 from the collection i use this to apply my highlight i have six of these brushes and i have them like at least two years and they are going strong and then this one the aoa studio f14 because i like this especially if i want to contour i could also use it to blend out bronzer i love the shape of this especially for my face and these two brushes especially you could buy them singly oh and the brush that i actually use to do the liner work is an aoa brush and this is one i have a i have like a dozen or something in these this is the aoa studio e122 like every time i'm placing an order i will add like one or two of these brushes in because look at that brush it is completely flat this is for people like me who don't know how to do cut creases and so on this will apply your shimmer shades on your lid with such ease and you see that tip it actually allows you to form the shape there and then i took the tip of this so i use this to apply the shadow that's all over my lid and then i use the tip of this into the butter cream liner and i use that to actually create that line it was so easy to do so if you are going to pick up single brushes on aoa i mean i, I didn't pick these up in this haul i highly recommend especially these if you have hooded eyes like me, similar types of features and so on, you are not going to regret getting this. Guys, I have to mention this because Shop Miss A now has skincare products, unless that was a thing and I did not know. But I was so shocked to see that when I went onto the website. So I picked up two of the items to try and I love the fact that they have them in different sizes. And these are perfect for if traveling or throwing in a gym bag or throwing in your handbag or in a little pouch that you need to take with you. Because they are so easy to pack and they are compact. So I picked up their pH 5.5 Seeker and Licorice Root Gel cleanser um and this is in the aoa line as well all i'm going to say about this is guys this is a great budget cleanser this has licorice root it has central asiatica it cleanses the skin well without stripping it it gets the sherry approved term of approval and then there is this one which i haven't tried yet but i'm definitely going to try it and you all know i love niacinamide so this is a niacinamide two percent plus bha which is your salicylic acid and so on moisturizer and this is what it looks like right i did try the texture of this and 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 it feels so super lightweight like on my oily skin this should be good so i'm definitely going to be trying this i can give you guys some feedback on that but yeah if you're looking for some budget stuff and they have a ton of things and the ingredients look really good like i mean like the focus ingredients look fantastic for example like this has glycerin nice and might squalane i mean these are things that we are looking for in a lot of other skincare products and this is very affordable and again you could try it out in the smaller sizes before purchasing the bigger sizes and <laughs> probably the longest video in the history of sherry approved this is the last item i picked up and i picked this up this is the aoa five blade razor kit i already used this but i just want to show you what it looks like so let me show you without throwing everything down so you actually do get the the razor on a handle then you get some refills one just fell out and then you also get this so that you could actually hang it up so it has a stick i haven't put it up in the bathroom yet and you could actually stick it wherever you want to stick it 
and I tried it and the pivot and this is nice it gave me a good clean shave of my legs I'm very very happy and I mean the price of this is also a great deal so guys what did you think about my haul thank you so much for shop miss a for reaching out to me about this if you've gotten to this part of the video thank you so much for staying with me i'm happy to announce that shop missy has agreed to do a giveaway for my followers everything that you need to do will be in the description box down below and you would be able to win a 35 dollars gift card to shop on their website all you need to have is a u.s shipping address and the winner will be contacted by shop miss a and you would be sent your digital gift card to go on their website and click 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 add to cart <laughs> and probably pick up some of these things make sure and look out for the announcement of the winner because i will need some information from you so that you could get your gift card but guys thank you so much for staying with me and looking at this gigantic haul from shop miss a so comment down below what is your favorite item from today's haul and what is your favorite shop miss a item that you've probably purchased before i'd love to hear about it i'll see you guys in another video take care bye